morning everybody it's a rainy day here in northern Nova Scotia Empty trailer, it just needs to be swept. And then we're gonna put a big old load of peat moss in there and make it all dirty again. I was left-handed, not bad. So this load's done. Gotta go up to a town called uh, Point Sapin or something in Northern New Brunswick. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna load me in the morning cause I'm not gonna get there at the end of business day. But I'm gonna make a few calls now and see if they can still load me today. Well, we got some good news. Everything's good out here in the Maritimes, apparently. Uh, the shipper loads 24 hours a day, which surprises me because most people don't do that. They like to go home for night, but I guess they got a night shift that comes in and loads trucks all night. So they'll load me whenever I get there or whenever they got time when I get this first come first serve by the sounds of it, but right on. So we're gonna go there tonight, get loaded and be on our way to Georgia. It's a good day. See, Diesel, I told you it was going to be a good day. What are you doing with my pants? What's he doing with my pants? Why do you got my pants over here? Huh? What? Why are we sleeping? Wait, you, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What are, you, what are you doing with my pants? Where do those come from? Did you pull them down off of here? I think they had gotten wet in the rain before and I was drying them up here. You pull them down? I just wanted to feel like I was close to you. Well, that's sweet, Diesel. Look at this. Look at your little pillow kingdom here. Wow, Lord Weasel. Traveling in style. Look at this, eh? Such a good boy. You want to go pick up some peat moss? You want some peat moss? Look at his little tail. Peat moss? We're going to go to Georgia. And then after Georgia, we'll go home. <laughs> You'll start getting more excited as we get closer. How about... We go for a nice long walk later. How about that? You're tired. <laughs> He's been sleeping. I've been here unloading for uh, two hours now. Uh, it took a little longer than I expected, but that's totally cool. Uh, because my shipper loads all night, apparently. Man, I thought I was gonna be late and they'd have to load me tomorrow. I was getting all panicked and ah, I'm gonna be behind, but you know what? Like I was saying, if you just have a good attitude, things usually work out. All right, let's not keep them waiting too long. We don't want to take advantage of the fact that they, they load 24 hours a day. I still want to get there as soon as possible so that I can get down the road as far as possible.
back at the big stop. I want to be able to go straight to the customer, so I'm going to grab fuel here so I don't have to worry about running low later. I don't know how cold it's going to get in northern New Brunswick. The weather around here looks kind of stormy, but it always looks kind of stormy around here, so I don't know if this... I don't know how to read the weather out east. In Manitoba, it's simple. Just look west. That's what's coming this way. Out here, I have no idea what's going on. So better to play it safe than sorry. I don't want to get stranded and then run low on fuel. Because when the Maritimes gets snow, they usually get like four feet overnight. So you never know. So I'm out. Gotta tell the world what I'm doing. The government wants to know. What's he doing? Why'd he stop moving? What's going on? Oh, I gotta do it with my belt. You guys gotta undo your belt when you drive too. I think I'm, it's just because I'm a little fat. Otherwise the belt buckle digs into my stomach. It's uncomfortable. All right, let's grab some fuel. Diesel, you wanna pump the fuel? section of the Nova Scotia Highway here. They're gonna take our money because they want us to stay so badly. They're gonna make us pay to leave. Still have over two and a half hours to go yet. And I thought the sunlight would uh, stick around a little longer, but it's maybe it's just the clouds. The clouds are making it seem like the day is later than it is. It's about four o'clock right now though, so. It's getting there, you know? It's getting there. I'm surprised that they don't have snow here yet. I know they get a lot of snow in the wintertime, but it doesn't get as cold as it does back home in Manitoba. So I wonder when their snow actually starts. Just over the hill here, I believe, is where they're gonna take our money. Or actually, they're gonna take Visa's money. And then Visa's gonna come after me for money. Gotta remember to pay that back tonight yet. There it is. Thanks for visiting. We're just gonna do one more shakedown before you leave, okay, Trucker Josh? Thanks for coming. Give me your money. 15 big ones again. $3 per axle. I've got five axles on this truck. Like I was saying uh, the other day coming through here, I was pretty sure that they only took cash a while ago, but that's obviously changed because of this whole COVID thing. Uh, nobody likes using cash. I don't carry cash ever. I always use uh, my cards and plastic for everything. Like, not my uh, credit cards. I don't use them for everything, but uh, I uh, my debit cards, I never have cash on me. Oh, if everyone were if anyone were to ever steal my wallet, they wouldn't get anything because I could just cancel everything in five minutes. Uh oh, somebody's holding up the e-pass line. Went in the wrong lane. Hello. Doing all right. <laughs> Diesel, she called you handsome and beautiful. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. lucky you. You got an admirer. <laughs> At first, I thought she was talking to me, calling me beautiful. It's like, wait, what? What? <laughs> now, Diesel, she's like, yeah. Oh, beautiful ears. You're so beautiful. Wait, what? My ears? Oh, the dog. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, he's got nice ears. Yeah. So handsome. Ha! Oh, Diesel. 
You're a chick magnet, man. You're a good looking boy, man. You're a good looking boy. The scale is open. When light flashing scale is open. All right. But it doesn't look like they have a, a roadblock or checkpoint going back into New Brunswick from Nova Scotia here. Okay, so I guess it's sort of like the same thing we have in Western Canada. They only have the, the borders going into the Maritimes closed and in Western Canada we only have a real big uh, checkpoint between Eastern Canada and Western Canada I don't know what's going on they got no checkpoints going this way apparently maybe they're up ahead this is just the scale I guess we're not technically at the border yet that's probably what it is it's probably up ahead First, they want to see how fat I am. Kind of a personal question to ask, if you ask me. Stop before driving onto platform. There you go. You see, I'm a good boy. Now let me go. that they had the, the scale on that side of the border. Usually it's into the next province. Maybe there's another one up ahead? Because here's the border coming up here. It was just down the road. You see the, the three Nova Scotia flags here on this end. Like I was telling you yesterday, like inverted Scotland flags, a little crest in the middle. And then here on the New Brunswick side. Crossing border, entering New Brunswick. You'll see the New Brunswick flag there. It's like a yellow flag with a ship on it with sails, a lion up there. But they're telling us to slow down here already, so I'm guessing they must have their checkpoint up here somewhere. Nowhere else in the country has these checkpoints anymore. I've just seen them in the Maritimes, but you never know. You never know. They might all and open them back up. Everyone's starting to freak out again. I don't know. All I know is I've got stuff to deliver. Well, I've got stuff to pick up and then I've got to deliver it. I'm just doing my thing. Diesel and I are pretty isolated here in the truck anyways. We only talk to maybe one or two people a day and that's when I'm getting my coffee. Okay, this off to the left here. This is where the checkpoint was. I guess it's not there anymore. Huh. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? See? I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't understand any of it. But it's not my job to understand it, right? It's just my job to bring you your stuff.
Well, Diesel, I guess we can take this out of here now. I had to dry this before it got wet, raining like crazy when I was unloading in the morning. Get that in my fancy little closet here. Oh, I messed up all my hangers when I did that. Uh, oh well. So we're here at the uh, shipper, and uh, apparently my appointment is for 1 a.m., but they should get to me soon. They gotta get all the guys in front of me done first, and then when it's my turn, if it's earlier than 1 a.m., it's earlier. And it sounds to me like it'll probably be quite a bit earlier, but uh, we'll have to find out. From here, I wanna go down to, uh, well, down to a big stop somewhere, or down to a truck stop, just so I can sleep somewhere with, uh, showers for the night. I'd like to shower in the morning or even tonight yet if I can. Uh, I guess we'll see. Gotta wait to get loaded now. I'm sort of in the, the waiting queue. They have a parking lot, which is kind of nice. So they come get you when, the, when they're ready for you. So I can just have a nap if I wanted to and they'll come wake me up when it's my turn to get loaded. All I gotta do is back up to their outdoor dock and bada bing, bada boom, they throw all the pallets on. I strap them in, close the door, seal it up, we're done. Still, so much easier than flatbed. I. Other than the people I was working with, I don't miss flatbed at all. No, oh, I like this. This is nice. So the way it works here is they're loading on the other side of those trucks. You can sort of see them through the window there, right? And they have a whole lineup of trucks here. My appointment was apparently for 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And I got here at about, what, 7 o'clock? And so they got a lineup of all the trucks who are all here early. And they're getting them all done really quickly. So as quick as they can get them done, that's how quick we get loaded. Makes sense. So I'm pretty sure I should get loaded. What is it? It's 8.30 now. I should get loaded within the next couple of hours for sure. I hope so. Because then I got an hour and a half back to the truck stop yet. I don't want to be here all night really. But it is what it is. I mean, what can I do? I don't want to be here all night, but do I have a choice? No, I don't have any choice. I got all these shadows all over the place here. You can see the camera and the shadow them. That's sort of very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Holly would be would be very, very displeased with me, and that's good. It's not supposed to be Hollywood. This is supposed to be real. Right, Diesel? Real. Not like Hollywood. Bunch of fakes. And weird people too, right? Like the people in Hollywood, it's like they're like a special kind of weird. Not not in their shows. Like, they're phenomenal actors, but in real life, they're just... Like, you just want to... Like if I ever met one, a lot of people go crazy if they meet their favorite celebrity. I would just want to have a sit-down with them and be like, What happened? How could you be such an amazing actor and turn out like this? In real life, <laughs> right? What happened? This isn't Hollywood. This is real. What you see is what you get. And it's 10 o'clock and we're on our way. Not too bad. What did I get there? It's seven? So three hours? That's not too bad. My appointment was for 1 a.m. and I'm leaving there at 10 p.m. So I'll take it. So we're heavy. We're sitting at just under 80,000 pounds, probably about 78,000 pounds. We're gonna scale ourselves uh, at the Irving on the way past there at the cat scale and just make sure that we're not overweight or anything. And I'll talk to you when we get there. Here we go, everybody. We gotta get ourselves scaled. I still don't know how heavy I am because they didn't have scales at the yard where they load us. And honestly, it kind of bothers me when, meters, when that happens. Turn right on Fredericton Road, Highway 112 and then Approaching destination on the left side, yeah, at 130 yeah, yeah. meters. Yeah, yeah, Karen. Calm yourself. It bothers me, like, they know that they're loading freight that goes right up to the legal limit, but they don't provide a scale to make sure that they don't go over the legal limit. Then if I get a ticket, it's my ticket, not theirs. So I've got to go all the way to the nearest Catscale, which is down here in Moncton, or wherever it be, um, whichever, uh, you know, this happens in other places too. And uh, if I'm overweight, I gotta go all the way back to the shipper and tell him to take a power destination in 100 meters on the left side. 
but I'm not gonna cross the border until I'm scaled, because once I cross the border, I can't come back. That's how it works. Once you the have arrived at your destination, on the left side, big stop, circle key number 2016. Are you done now? Jeez, Karen, I know you want to be part of the vlog, but come on. Well, yeah, once I cross the border into the US, uh, the freight can't cross back. They won't clear it to go back. So if it's overweight, it's overweight. That's why you gotta scale it before you cross the border. That's what we're gonna do right now. Certified scales. So that if they're wrong, they'll pay my ticket for me. Let's talk to the good people in the in the box here. One second. Gotta push a little button here. Magic box. Hello. Coat and tub. First weight. First weight. Kilograms or pounds? Pounds. See the green line and put on the scale, please. All right. I can get it in gear here. There we go. <laughs> the guy's just yelling at me through the speaker. First ray Arrive! Put on to this guy! I can hear you, bud. I can hear you. Well, she's gonna yell at me over here too. So now you gotta talk to him over here. Now I just gotta wait for him to confirm that he has my weight. I might have to push the button again. I'm gonna push the button again. It's not yelling at me. Okay, I have a please. Thank you. Sounded so angry. Just yelling at me. <laughs> All right. Let's go find a parking spot here. Let's go inside and get our scale ticket, shall we? second here need your help to get that off thank you Whew. all right we walked to the weasel it's trying to get this bed ready for the king see this is the lord right here where'd your light go diesel what happened to your light one second there you go the lord the king hierarchy of this truck just so you know okay let's uh Put you up here. I gotta do a lot of cleaning up tomorrow. I have a whole uh, whole idea of what I want this truck to look like tomorrow yet. Before I get going, oh, I gotta send in my paperwork yet. Oh boy, I've got work to do. But first, I'm in the maritime, so I have to I have to close my curtains. So that everybody knows I'm sleeping. Because it's pretty late by the time we got here. It's after midnight now. So I'm going to be sleeping into the day tomorrow. And uh, if you don't got the curtains pulled, people assume you're awake. I'm going to pull the curtains. For some reason, these curtains are not that easy to pull around here. I, I don't understand why they would make them this way. But, you know, I don't understand a lot of things in this world, apparently. And I'm not always right, okay? I have my opinions, uh, and I'm not always right. That's why I always say, double check everything I tell you, all the facts and stuff I tell you. Double check them, you know? Just because Trucker Josh says it's true, doesn't mean it's true. I mean, there's a very 
highly probable chance that it is true if I say if trucker Josh says it's true but I'm not a trainer okay that's the biggest thing I want to get across to my audience I'm not a trainer I don't want to be a trainer I am just an entertainer okay I'm, I'm an entertainer on the internet I show you how my life goes on the road as a truck driver from Canada who travels all over Canada and the United States I don't really have any desire to be a trainer or a teacher okay so when I give you advice I'm not trying to train you I'm not trying to teach you how to do things or what's the best way to do things sometimes I'll show you the way that the best way that I've found to do things but I'm not a trainer okay I'm not a trainer I'm an entertainer there's a difference all I want to do is meet up with you here on my YouTube channel every day and entertain you. I don't want to be responsible for uh, teaching you all the ins and outs and what's best and what's not. I find it to be much more fun just to hang out with you and you know, share my experiences that way. What is wrong with these curtains? Seriously. Why they gotta be so difficult? Ah! <clears throat> I guess I should turn my GPS off. I don't need Karen anymore. Hey, yo, Karen. Go to bed, Karen. Nobody wants to hear from you. Okay, well, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I appreciate you hanging out with me every day. And uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Leave a like or a dislike and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Tomorrow will be a new video. I'll see you right here.